Well, you're going to be seeing a lot of this this season. Hard it! Head on, Daniel Suarez! Like, honestly, this is ridiculous. This is my dog for crazy in the background. Like, we've had six months to think about this, yet Stuart Haas can't get a better driver. They like mediocrity. I mean, if they didn't like mediocrity, they wouldn't They wouldn't assign Boyer either. And don't get me wrong, Boyer's a good driver. But he's not top four in NASCAR type. And that's basically what they used to have at Stuart Haas. So now... If y'all didn't know, I hate Daniel Suarez. I want him so far gone from NASCAR, it's not even funny. I wouldn't even trust him driving my family's car. I mean, come on now. The only reason he got a sponsor because his freaking his friend and compatriot Carlos Pardo died. Who's two sponsors at the time when he died in 2009 were, hmm, Motorcraft and Eris. Remember that name later. So, Suarez, with no fame whatsoever, was even sucking back home with backing. Then Eris decides, you know, we want to milk the cow of this dry diversity program. We're going to stick it with Suarez all the way through Cup, even though we know he's got no talent. It took him, what, forever to win in trucks? Having good equipment? Not good equipment. The best equipment? Any smart owner would have said, kid doesn't have it. Even seeing his truck performance in Xfinity took him forever to be a good driver, then got really lucky that Cole Whip. To stay it out and bottled up the inside lane. He's really lucky that happened. Otherwise, he would be nobody to quote unquote everybody. And I understand people being fans of him. Look, he, he's of Mexican descent. It's like the Eric Almarol thing, him having Cuban descent. Anybody from Cuba is going to root for Almarol. Anybody who's Mexican is going to root for Suarez. Or anything that's his quote unquote Hispanic, sorry. I'm just trying to get my demographics right, but it's just crazy. It took him forever to win. And then Joe Gibbs is like, hmm, Suarez to the 19? I like that. No, you know what you should have damn did? But you didn't think of this because you care about Rather than racing. And that's what all these team owners do. Tony Stewart, Joe Gibbs, Rick Hendrick. Whoever heads Jermaine Racing, clearly that's all he cares about too. Richard Petty to a degree. All them care about is money. And money only. Conventional wisdom tells you that Suarez is a bust. He is the epitome of... Of crap. I mean, he's just terrible. Anybody that can see this, that can't see this, you're incredibly blind. He literally is the worst driver I have ever seen since Aaron Crocker. Yet he gets a cup ride that's the best in the business because of his sponsor that stuck with him because of their original guy died. I mean, rest in peace to late Carlos Pardo because that should have been him. That should have been him. Or if we actually want people with talent, we could have gave it to Elon Day. But no, no, no. We don't. Well, he's got to take start and park rides and stuff like that. This epitome of mediocrity, Daniel Suarez, isn't the best cup ride you could possibly get. But Ross Chastain, who was supposed to get his best opportunity to get asking the Xfinity Series, now is doing this. 
He's that's what he's doing. Sitting at home wondering like me, when is he gonna get a ride? And since Gaddafi won't do the right thing, since he is, I grant, I know it's not the fault of Chip Ganassi this happens, DC Solar. But give the equipment, to, give some equipment to premium, that way he can actually do something this year, please. Don't give him, like, outdated equipment. Give him this year's stuff. Like, you got a really good, talented driver, hard worker, but since he doesn't have backing, he has to suffer? Yet I've watched idiots like Elliot Sadler get a ride. I've watched idiots like Michael Annette get a ride. Daniel Suarez, Bubba Wallace, Corey LaJoy. Well, let me go on and on and on. Let's see, Kelly Byers got a ride when he was ass. O'Quinn got a ride. Eric Darnell got a ride when he was ass. And yes, I know I'm comparing quote unquote two errors, but that's when you really started to know that sponsorship runs this more than the teams do. Well, back in the day, it was because the teams hired the drivers, and then due to the results the driver and the team were having, the sponsors came. We could easily fix this if the team owners got their heads out of their asses and actually remembered how to own a team. You make more money. With a good driver that gives you results. Then a pay driver like Suarez or Tiff who goes and crashes your cars and runs 20th all day. And Tiff's going to be at the 30s, but you get my point. I just don't get it. Suarez is the equivalent to Jeff Fuller's car at Kentucky after he hit the wall. Demolished, destroyed, useless. I don't know why it's even mentioned. This is just ridiculous. This is just ridiculous. My heart feels Ross Chastain. 